What's up guys? Sorry about the last video. We're back again with the Cuphead and trying to beat the game of Pea Shooter and Chaser. We were stuck on this boss. Sorry, my video ended by itself for some reason. It was a glitch. I think it became too long, so I didn't get to say my outro or anything, so we're gonna do this and part of Ink, uh, Ink Owl 3. So yeah. I really hate this boss. It's the most annoying boss in this area. Ink Owl 2. If you don't know what is happening, go back to the first and second part. Because then you can find out what I'm doing and where you, the secrets are in Ink Owl 1. And a little bit in here, too. Well, this is part three, so I'm gonna be showing more ink out three now. All right, third stage. Wait, I have an itch. Alright, that's better. Okay, so of course you gotta use P shooter for this part because of stupid fireballs. If, if you break them open like that, they explode, and I hate it. Are you serious? Are you serious? I was just about to use my two as well. Man, of course. Who's so the last stage? Always. Nope. Took some damage. Are you serious? He usually never shoots four fireballs in a row. Maybe he didn't, but I was just not paying attention. The only sh okay. First shot is a double. Okay, I think they haven't updated this game in a long time, but that usually shouldn't happen. Two double shots? Okay, that's not normal. Something's up with this boss. Either they made it harder and I just didn't know they updated the game, or I'm just not... Are you serious? i just never seen that before. I don't know what chance there is of getting that, but I don't like it. Oh my gosh! my super up there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh my gosh. Why do I get so close? This is actually starting to get annoying. So annoying. 
Ayan. So annoying. Time my friend said whenever we were playing two player, game over, right? And I t told him, hey, watch out for the fire. And I'm like, and he says, yeah, I know. And then I'm like, I go through the fire or smoke that shows before he shoots his fire out of his nostrils, right? And then he's like, wait, what? You can go in the, the smoke? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And you know that? So this man. Freaking thought that that smoke was dangerous. Are you serious? I used my old or my s little super ability on that. Are you serious? Oh, they're shooting a lot. moment there too. I was dodging fireballs left and right. I hit no parries. Wow. Okay. Alright, time for a secret coin here. I've never told you guys because I needed to beat that guy first. So you have to beat Wally Warbles, the bird boss, and the dragon boss to get the coin from her. She says, uh, thank you fellas for um, inventing or making a new way to, uh, the rides again. So she gives us a coin as a thank you. And there's your extra coin. Oh yeah, and if you haven't already, uh, talk to this guy, he'll give you bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna use the bombs. I just unlocked them so you know. Alright. Inkwell Isle 3. Now this is the area that's kind of difficult. Not kind of. So supposedly... Oh wait, I'll read it. The little mugs have some fun in them. I'll say that much. They're making a mince meat out of those debtors. You, you see? I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, guys. If those two things try anything, I'll be waiting. Ooh, it's so scary. I'm gonna beat this devil up. Alright, Inkwell 3. Supposedly, people say that Dr. Cal's robot is the hardest boss in the game. No, I think it's... Th I think it's Dice Man. King Dice? I think it's him. Because he has a ton of mini bosses, and if you mess up a dice roll, then you have to start over. It's like a... It's like a... One in three chances for that to happen, but still, it's quite a bit. It's quite a mo annoying as well. Okay. Now this is very, this is a very difficult boss. Are you serious? Are you serious? At this point, I'm just gonna... Nothing touched me! 
I'm sorry, but I'm so confused. I gotta get parries. Got one parry. Ooh, you got a boo boo. Of course he did. Are you serious? Oh, you're going with the beetle or bee missiles first. First thing. Okay, time for the most annoying stage ever. Oh my, it was not letting me jump. That is quite rigged. Stop with your stupid spells. boss first try. Usually, whenever I'm using my normal weapons, not be shooter and... I don't know how I'm already at 2 HP. Uh, you know what. I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not gonna start off the freaking boss with one health. Heck no. Okay. That was good. That was a good bit. Good parry. Okay, I got two parries. Oh my god. That is like a one in a million chance for that to happen. By accident. I shot the wrong way. I shot the... Oh my... What the heck? What is up with me? Again? and I didn't dash. Again! One in a million chance! What? Okay, I need to focus. I'm not focusing. You can run Yes. I love getting the triangles out of the way first. Hey, good job, good job. Easy spurt. What? Oh my gosh, and I just said easiest part. I shouldn't, I probably should keep my mouth shut. So that, something like that never happens again.
instantly with the saw. Again with the saw, thank god. Do not like dealing with the saw. Or I like getting the saw. Because I hate dealing with the fists. Fist of fury. No! I hate that they come out. Huh! We beat her! Let's go! It's another boss. Done. I need some water. I'm getting some water. I only parried two times. Well, we ruined our goal. We're supposed to get... We already ruined it. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to get gold poles on every boss. Well, we tried, and <laughs> that didn't go well. Captain Briny Beer, my favorite boss. This one was extremely tough without Chaser. I did a whole gameplay just by myself normally. Just a little challenge I set for myself. Beat the game with only a pea shooter. Nothing else. I can't buy anything. And I beat the game doing that. This is the boss I struggled on, especially on his last stage. Alright, gone. I really like this boss because it's just super unique and it has a ton of parries as well. It's just unique in its own way and it has a ton of stages. It's just really cool. There's three different types of enemies that you can face. It's just super unique between all the other bosses. I would by far say that this is the most challenging one because... Well, not the most challenging one. It's just one that you have to worry about the most because there's so much going on. There's just a lot going on, so it's kind of hard to process. Uh, Megalodon. Oh. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I almost died. Oh, let's go. This is by far my favorite boss. I could easily get a gold pole on this one. Especially with all those parrying. With all that parrying. Get so much. Nay. Pretty neat. Alright, next boss. We'll probably only get halfway into the area. Maybe, I don't know. It depends on how far. This was by far the most annoying level. Doing only pea shooter because hitting those guys is a pain. Without Chaser. Hitting everything is just a pain without Chaser. Chaser is so useful. I just really like it. So it's so useful in so many ways. If you haven't already, or if you're even still watching the video, please like and subscribe. Because I try my best on these videos. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you serious? This is kind of annoying. I forgot that guy damages you, damages you even though you kill them. Makes no sense. 
And I hate that you can't skip this guy. But you have to kill him. He's just annoying. Oh, wow. Oh, I panicked. I don't know why. I always do this level perfectly. I don't know why. It just feels like I deal less damage. I'm not using any HP bonuses. I'm just... Goldfish things, starfish, sorry. Okay. There is a lobster panic. Oh, made me panic. All right, I gotta hurry up. We still got more bosses to do. This is quite annoying. God, right off the bat. Why does this level? Oh my! I swear, I deal less damage. I know I deal less damage. I don't know why. Oh wow. You literally just died! Get out of here, lobster! Going in here. Ship jail. All right, let's go. This part is extremely annoying if you don't have Tracer. Okay. Okay. 
Boss beaten. Super annoying boss. Or not. Why am I saying boss? A minus. It's not too bad. It's not too good either, but still. Alright. Here's another secret coin. Gotta walk behind here, right? And then you just walk behind here. I said walk behind here three times. But yeah. There's a coin hiding right behind. I'm not gonna say it. There's a coin here. You just walk right here. And then you'll get it. There's another secret coin. A great, a great a great a great I'm not gonna use the bombs. It's only what you have for this. I hate this water ghost myth. It's super annoying. One health, not cool. Yeah, you, want, you kinda wanna save some of your cards for this part, just some of them, you don't wanna save all of them. Spam X and square to get out of that. Want to hear like a weird theme noise. Whenever you hear the kind of noise, you gotta go all the way to the back because that's whenever the stone ray thing hits you, so be prepared for that. She does it on her last stage too. I'll show you guys once I get there. mix if you get that many cards instantly use it you want to get this stage done and over with as soon as possible all right now I believe we're gonna be skidding into the last stage soon hopefully I get some parries I have all five cards again that's gonna be really useful for this part. So don't use, if you have five cards in this part, don't use it instantly. You wanna wait until like a ton of eels like this comes out and then you just wanna come up to it and bam, gets literally all of them out of there instantly to the last stage. You wanna spam that before you get hit and then you're safe. And then just as soon as you get cards, you wanna use it get as back as possible on the map so then you're safe from her oh I dodged that I dodged the stone thing this is the first time I beat the boss without losing a single HP that's kind of impressive beat it okay okay a plus Let's go! Perfect score! There's always a first time for everything. Am I right? Holy. Oh my gosh, let's go! Calamar. Calamaria. This is her name. Alright, you can get a new soundtrack if you talk to this guy, and there's another guy down there, but here's another shortcut. So then you can get to Dr. Cal's robot, and you can talk to this guy, and the guy over there, stomping his foot. You can talk, and then 
exchange things and then they'll give you a new thing. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have a lot of time. Well, I do, but I kind of don't because I just want to get this area done. So then, yeah, I will do that though soon. Maybe in the next video. So first thing you want to do is get the beam out and then get up here. I know that doesn't deal damage, but yeah, wait, just shoot that part first. It's the best strategy, just shoot the laser until, yeah, until it goes away. And you want to focus on the small part until that goes away, and then you want to focus on the middle. Okay, I did not see that with this background. And aim for the heart, of course. Always destroy the bombs because the bombs are super annoying. Dodge that. Nuts and bolts and screws. It's pretty easy. Okay. For this part, you want to use bombs. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm not using that. Oops, sorry. Well, that's if you're curious on how bombs work. Yeah, so that's how bombs work. I'm sorry, you guys. I forgot. I'm not doing that. Yeah, if there's multiple bombs on your screen, like these with death bombs, always try making them hit each other. Alright, as soon as you save up your cards and just literally just slap them with that. Parry everyone you can. So then you gain gems. Don't get too close though. Or else... It's not good. I suggest sensitive people to the eyes not play this boss because that gem or if you if you are and you still play it then uh try not to look at the gem as much because it's it's kind of it's kind of really flashy and it could maybe ruin your eyesight more and just a little caution hey let's go I just beat the hardest boss first try. Well, not hardest boss. I mean, like, hardest boss people think it is. Dr. Cow's robot. All right. So they're arguing about music. I'm gonna get us a new soundtrack just because. So you just wanna keep doing this. You want to keep doing that spam X or whatever console you're playing on just spam whatever it is shift I think I don't know and a and if you're playing on switch I think it's B I don't know I forgot so then you talk to this guy he changes the track as you can hear right now and I'm gonna do the most annoying level in the entire game So supposedly this is the hardest level in the game and I agree with that. I fully agree with that. It is by far the most annoying boss or level I've ever played. It's by far the most annoying. I would say it's because the ending. Because you gotta... That coin is kind of difficult to get, though. Not gonna lie. It's not too easy. Every other shot, this guy shoots a parry. So you could easily get a parry. If you like parrying. I love parrying. It's just super fun. So, nearing the end, you want to stand over here. Because there will be a coin. And then these sand monster things will go away. And I suggest you use chase around this part. Well, whenever you're fighting these guys, always. And I mean always use chase around this part. So before they even uh, hit the ground, you can easily just destroy them. Hit ch or use a uh, pea shooter on this guy. So you can get rid of them faster. Get rid of those weird, I don't know what that, or the pig demon things, I don't know. Kill that guy before he shoots the little ink drop. 
it absolutely demolishes you. All right. I shoot because I'm more comfortable shooting while jumping at the same time. I'm just try to, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of comfortable jumping while shooting, so don't judge. Uh, I would, uh, suggest Invincibility Ultimate for this level because... It is extremely difficult to get through this without losing health. Or dying. As a matter of fact. Okay, I'm so surprised I did that first try. I'm always struggling on that. Always. That's so weird. That's it. And I suggest Invincibility Ultimate for that one. And always save up your cards. Don't use them. Save it up for the last, well not the last, but the hardest part of this boss. Or level. I, I always do. I don't get it, but my cousins, whenever they play, they struggle on not getting hit by the bombs, like, tiny little fireballs on the bottom. They always struggle on not getting hit on that. Or they always struggle on getting not hit. Yeah, never mind, I said it right. I mean, it's so easy not to get hit by the fireballs. All you gotta do is pay attention. Now this is a kind of annoying part. Because... The saws. Or the, the bottom caps. Well, he made them saws, so... Oops, I messed up. Second stage. The thing that got me into Cuphead was all the people that played it. And I just really liked how the game was played and I just really liked the graphics. It just I think it's a very unique and different kind of style game. I just and I was inspired by all the people that played it. And as a little kid, I used to watch it all the time. Gameplays walkthroughs, everything, music. I love the music, I loved everything about Cuphead. And then I was bummed that I didn't have a computer or an Xbox. And then every time I'd go to my cousin's house, they had an Xbox, I would use that to my advantage so then I could play Cuphead. I was bad at it at the time. And then I got it on my Nintendo. Pretty fun, but it wasn't, it wasn't the same. I liked it on big screens. So yeah. That's what got me into Cuphead. And then it finally came out for PlayStation. I was the happiest person on earth. I loved it. I play it literally all the time. If I'm bored and I have no one to play with, I'd play this. I'd play this for the rest of my life and still not get bored. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a secret. Gotta wait until... I messed it up, and I'm at 2 HP, so it doesn't it won't work out. Alright, wait for that kiss to get here. Wait for it to be high. Pull this all the way down. Saw the little bell up there get loose. Kinda. It's just like shook. That's good. Okay. No! You blew the kiss the wrong way! Okay. I need to stop attacking her and wait for the... Oh my gosh. 
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do a normal boss. Alright, I'm just gonna do the normal boss. If I happen to so get the thing, then I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I didn't do it, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just a little secret to change the whole thing. It's actually kind of more difficult than the normal boss. Why? You're supposed to go with your... Bro! I always do this because they're cheering. thing but instead of the milk bottles it's rulers much more difficult because that lightning oh my it's this okay you know what <sighs> I'm just gonna do the normal boss Sorry you guys, it's just, that kind of took me a little bit to get down and I'm not going to waste time, well not waste time, but I'm not going to use up a lot of time because I don't want to make this video super long. Okay, I didn't trust it. Because last time I lost the health because of that. Okay. I don't know why they have so many kids. But sure. Yay! Stage... I don't know. What? Okay. Usually that's not over there. the last stage. Man, I did this on, uh, I tried doing this with only Pea Shooter. It took so dang long to get. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna try what I was gonna do. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it done.
Well, A minus or B plus. That leaves us with just one more. So that stage play. Let me make sure. As you can see, all I have is Chaser and Bee Shooter. Yep, that's it. There's just one more, and that's the, Fra the Phantom Express. Real World Wrath. <laughs> Why? Man, this one's super fun and easy. Well, the first stage is probably the hardest. Because you have to deal about. Okay, a little cheat to this boss, or this part of the boss. Just stand here and you'll never get hit. Just a little cheat cheat. Like, watch. Bing. Nothing happens, just at least as you stay locked, nothing could ever happen to you if you stay unlocked. Not unlock, on, on, lock. Nothing could happen to you. Don't worry about the pumpkins, they'll be hit like right in the nick of time, so you're fine. Sorry. This one you want to stay in the middle at all times. Why, 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 why? No, 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 no. Why is my finger so itchy? No, this is not good. All right, I think I'm good. No, 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 you're not hitting me. Okay, stage is done. Yes, hit it. I don't care. Not this time. Good job. Yes, I killed whatever you're. I don't know, sibling, brother. I don't know, but I killed him. Friend? I said I don't know, but I killed him. And again, you want to be in the middle for this part of the boss as well. So you wanna kinda watch out. Cause there's a stupid bone thing. And that 
that's a knockout. Let's go. I believe that's an A. I believe. HP. I didn't lose a single health. Oh my god. I didn't even notice. I really didn't notice. And that leaves us with one area. Inkwell Hell. Well, there's only one coin. One extra coin. You're supposed to have 36, I believe. This is the coin. Just gotta walk behind the dice that's facing. That says, or that face has five, four, and one. Walk behind that one, and then you get a free coin. And. This ends the video. I will see you on part four. Thank you for watching, and hope you hit the like and subscribe button, and hit the bell so you can find out whenever I release new videos. Come back to me, and every, or, no, I messed that up. Sorry, no. I'll see you next time on part four. Hope you watch the video, and if you're still watching this video, and you still haven't seen part one and part two, then I suggest that you need to watch that because you shouldn't see this right now. Well, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.